Leonard Bloomfield. He was born on April 1, 1887, in Chicago, Illinois, and he died in New Haven, Connecticut, on April 18, 1949. He was one of the most important representatives of American structuralism. He graduated from Harvard College and finishes his studies of the University of Wisconsin. And after that, he receives his postdoctoral from the University of Chicago in 1909. His interest in linguistics grew after hearing lectures by Edward Prokosch, a philologist in the German department. This experience turned him in an American linguistics, was influenced dominate the development of structural linguistics in America between the 1930s and the 1950s. In the 1914, he published his first main book, Introduction to the Studies of Language, dealing with the overall aspects of language. And in 1921, Bloomfield became professor of German and linguistics at the Ohio State University. Bloomfield served as professor of Germanic philology at the University of Chicago from 1927 to 1940. In that period, he published his master's work, Language, 1933, through which he achieved wide fame. The book produced a strong influence in the period from 1933, when it was published, until the mid-1950s, that is commonly called the Bloomfield era of linguistics. In 1940, Bloomfield became professor of linguistics at Yale University, where he stayed until his retirement in 1946. Contributions a Structuralism proposes that many phenomena don't occur alone, but instead they happen in relation to each other and that related phenomena are part of a whole with a definite but not necessarily defined structure. Leonard Bloomfield left his mark in the fields of morphology and syntax. He was a teacher and founder of distributionalism, leading to limit the dissociation of signifiers and meanings, all based on the work of Fernandine de Saussure, but strongly divergent from one another. The study of language for distributionalism consists of a group of statements which are used by speakers of a language at a certain period of time. This group is called corpus, and after that some regularities in this corpus are searched to achieve an appropriate, ordered and systematic description. Bloomfield thesis in distributionalism affirms that linguistic has to limitate to describe the speech, the act of speaking the language and no other type of mentalist or psychologist consideration. He believed that we must study people's habits in language, the way they talk without bothering any mental process. Bloomfield accepts a part of Saussure's theory as for language as a system of correlated relations, but in his conception of language there is not a place for any mental image. For Bloomfield, language starts with the phonetics and phonology. In his books, An Introduction to the Study of Language, he shows his basic ideas about nature of language, a focus on spoken language as, as primary and written language as a secondary. One of the major concerns of Bloomfield is to give linguistic a similar character to that of the natural science. To do this, Bloomfield proposes to eliminate all mentalist or psychological studies of language, focusing on material and mechanical aspects. Bloomfield says that there are two components that should focus the study of correlation between sounds and meaning, the lexicon and grammar. While the lexicon is the total inventory of morphemes of a language, grammar is a combination of morphemes in any complex form. Grammar includes both syntax, the construction of the phrases, and morphology, the construction of words. Bloomfield's interest was to make linguistics a true science of language. This defined the text of the linguistic as one that would address to study the mission corpus, discovering regularities and structure.